Hello, this is Joshua Aroya Egbagbe of Spirit, Soul and Body TV anchored by Abba Father Assembly. I want to just take today to explain in this program a very, very critical aspect of true Bible faith. It is an apostolic Bible series We've been looking at different aspects of human existence. We've looked at spiritual issues of faith. We've looked at physical issues. Today we want to look at a very critical aspect of the faith of a true believer. It's not much discussed because of recent, the Holy Spirit has been moving across the world in a very powerful way, bringing out some of the hidden mysteries which are in the scriptures but the time for their unveiling had not yet come you know like we believe truth and revelation is progressive and that is why when any season comes for a new truth to come out which is called the present truth we try our best to speak as clearly and as humbly as we can so today we want to look at the high priesthood of the lord jesus christ the high priesthood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, like I said, it's a topic not much discussed because of its slightly or muchly <laughs> controversial nature. But you see, truth is always controversial at the beginning. But with time, people begin to understand that the truth, when it eventually comes into human understanding and comprehension, you cannot resist it for too long. And that's why Acts chapter 19, verse 20 says that so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. The reason why the scripture says it grew and prevailed is because there was opposition to the word of God. Imagine when the Son of God came about 2,000 years ago, uh, Yeshua Amashak, that's in the Hebrew, Jesus the Messiah. When he came, he began to declare the new covenant. And the Pharisees and scribes of his time, who had too much dogma and too much pride in them already, could not find thumb how anybody could be speaking, uh, more or less, in quote, against the law of Moses. But what they didn't see was that the Son of God was not attacking the law of Moses. He was simply saying that he came to fulfill the law of Moses, meaning that he came to, to, to do what the, what, what the law of Moses prophesied would happen about how, in, you remember in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18, I think verse 17, 18 to 19, the Son of God says something, just take verse 18, let's just take it together. Deuteronomy chapter 18, uh, let's start from verse 18. Uh, God was speaking to Moses and he said, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren like unto you and I will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him and in verse 19 he says and it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken shall not obey unto my words which he shall speak in my name I will require it of him so God told Moses that he was going to send a prophet at the end of time and that prophet was going to speak only what God says he should speak Interestingly, in the book of Acts chapter 3, Acts chapter 3, you will see that Apostle Peter, under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, okay, powerfully speaking on the day of Pentecost, look at what he says. He says, For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me. Him shall you hear. In all things, whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Listen, this is exactly what God promised Moses in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18 and 19. Apostle Peter he was confirming that that prophecy of Moses had come to be fulfilled. In the Lord Jesus Christ because if you look at verse um, 24 to 26 Peter now said "Yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after as many 
as I've spoken. I've likewise foretold of these days. Ye are, you are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our father, saying unto Abraham, and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Verse 26, he now confirmed. He says, unto you first, God, having raised up his son, some versions like New King James and uh, NIV, they put the word his servant there. In actual fact, there's a code here, servant. Unto you first God, having raised up his servant, Jesus, sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. So you can see that Jesus Christ is the fulfillment of Moses. And of course, remember that Jesus Christ said himself, I did not come to destroy the law, but I came to fulfill the law. That scripture in Matthew chapter 5, verse 17, some people confuse it to mean that he came himself to be under the law of Moses. No. Fulfillment here means that what was prophesied would happen, right, by Moses. The Son of God, the Messiah, had come to fulfill it. He had come to do it. And that's why in the book of Hebrews, let's look at the book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 7, Hebrews chapter 7, verse 11 and 12, the Bible now says clearly, it says, oh, let me just take verse 12 for the purpose of time. It says, for the priesthood being changed, there's made of necessity a change also of the law. But I heard the Spirit say, we should read verse 11. Yes, yes, yes. Hebrews 7, 11. It's a bit of a long reading, but let's take it slowly for comprehension. Verse 11. If therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law, what further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Meshisedek and not be called after the order of Aaron? Can you see that? So the law of Moses, under which the priesthood of, Meshis, of uh, Levitica and Aaron came, the Bible says it was not able to bring about perfection. And that's why in verse 12, the scripture says, For the priesthood being changed, there is made of necessity a change also of the law. So Christ came as the high priest of the new covenant. In the old covenant, the high priest was Aaron. In the new covenant, the high priest is not Aaron and Levitical priesthood, but the Lord Jesus Christ. If you look at Hebrews chapter 7, the same chapter 7, and in from verse 20, and after that we shall take a break. Let me just take this reading to confirm that in the new covenant, the high priest is Jesus Christ, the Messiah, Yeshua Amashak. Isa al Masiu in these different languages. In verse 20 of Hebrews 7, it says, And inasmuch as not without an oath he was made priest, for those priests were made without an oath, but this one, that is this Jesus, with an oath by God, by him that said unto him, The Lord God swore and will not repent. You are a priest forever after the order of Meshisedek. By so much was Jesus made a surety of a better testament. Verse 23 now says, And they truly, that is the Levitical priest, were many priests because they were not suffered, they were not allowed to continue by reason of death. But this man, talking about the Messiah, this anointed man, the Messiah, because he continued ever, had an unchangeable priesthood. Wow! An unchangeable priesthood. Wherefore is able to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, through him, seeing he ever lives to make intercession for them. So you can see that by an oath of the almighty God, the sovereign God of the universe, the God of the whole universe, the creator of heaven and earth, the maker of you and I, the, um, the immortal God, the invisible God, the immutable God, he says that he has sworn with an oath which will not change his mind about, that the son is a priest forever after the order of Meshisedek. What an awesome privilege to know that the Messiah had been made priest forever. And I like verse 25. He says, wherefore he is able to save them, me and you, to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever lives to make intercession for them. God bless you, my brothers and my sisters who are listening don't get off this program for there's more to come remember 
This is Spirit Soul and Body TV. And my name is Joshua Aloya Bagwe. If you look at the screen, there are some number there. There's a number there. Please send in a text or a WhatsApp with your questions, with your prayer points, with your comments, which I get back to you. Once again, Spirit Soul and Body TV by Abba Father Assembly. God bless you.